Hello and welcome back to my channel, Loving Your Life with Mama Dean, and I'm Glenda Davis, aka Mama Dean. This is day number 20 of our Daniel Fast and Consecration, and it has been my pleasure to spend these 21 days with you. Still have one more to go, but uh, it's just kind of heartwarming just to know that, you know, we have spent this time together and that you have the same goals that I do, and that we are being inspired by each other and by the Word of God. And I hope that I've said something or done something or we've read something in the Word that will inspire you. Today I'm going to be reading Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Wow, one of the most beautiful psalms, one of the most beautiful scriptures, one of the most popular, most, the most read, the most quoted uh, scriptures in the Word of God, Psalms 23. David, he just reminded us that the Lord, he is our shepherd. He is our overseer. He is our keeper. He's the one who, uh, who protects us, who gives us good gifts, who prepares the table before us in the presence of our enemies. He just, he proves to us that he wants us to be at peace. He leads us beside still waters in green pastures. Everything about that scripture is calming. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, and maybe you're going through a difficult time, maybe you fasted, maybe you went through uh, this Daniel's fast because you had something very serious that you're dealing with. It could be a sickness in your body, it could be a family situation, and honey, let me tell you, you still got one more day. You got one more day for that breakthrough. And I admonish you on this day and on tomorrow, Go ahead and push through. Remember yesterday we talked about pressing? Let's push through. Let's push through until we end this fast with victory. We are going to be victorious. Oh, you may have stumbled a few times. You may have, because uh, I know how it is cooking for someone else and frying chicken and stuff. I told y'all not to be cooking stuff that you, <laughs> stuff that you are, are prone to Keep, not be able to keep out of your mouth. Um, I just, I was trying to cook stuff that I didn't care about if they had it or not, you know, like uh, sausage and sauerkraut. <laughs> I, didn't, I really wasn't too much caring about some of that. Some of the times it was a little difficult, but I pressed through because there were many things that I was able uh, to eat. And uh, like yesterday, we had baked potatoes with uh, uh, broccoli and I had uh, they had regular cheese and sour cream and I had my uh, my vegan uh, plant-based cheese and I enjoyed myself that one baked potato and then I had my uh, greens and lentil that's all I had all day in, in my smoothie I was fine and I'm gonna be fine today and I hope that you all are fine too I hope that you're fine too so let's just uh, I want to offer a word of prayer uh, today and I have uh, just something I'm going to share with you. It won't be a long video. We're not even going to go into the kitchen at least I don't think. At least the Lord hasn't put on my heart to do anything in the kitchen. But I want to pray this prayer uh, as we are wrapping this fast up on the 20th day. We only have one more to go. Father God in the precious and mighty name of Jesus Lord I thank you for this time that we've had together. Thank you for the, um, the technology that I have been able to uh, to speak to your people, to read the word, to give an expression, to give a thought that you have put on my heart. And Lord God, we have laid before you. We have called on your name. We have petitioned you, God. There's so many things that uh, we have need of. And 
though somebody may be going through cancer, somebody may have high blood pressure, low blood pressure, somebody may have diabetes, or someone may have heart disease and a congestive heart failure, someone else may have a back issue or shoulder pain, they may need a hip replacement, a knee replacement, maybe they've already gone through the surgery, maybe somebody has endometriosis, or someone else maybe have fibromyalgia, somebody may have lupus, oh God, I don't know what the, the situation is but God I pray in the name of Jesus that we are healed because your word said that you were wounded for our transgressions you were bruised for our iniquity and the chastisement of our peace the chastisement of our Psalms 23 was upon you and with your stripes we are healed I decree and I declare healing upon your life and oh God help us to believe Extend our faith, God. Stretch us out in our faith that we will believe and receive our blessings from you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, all right. So, I hope you prayed that prayer and I hope you feel better. I, I just believe God is doing something. I believe he has done something. And I believe we still have, we can, and that tomorrow... I believe it's, it's going to be the pinnacle of this fast. I, and I believe it's just going to be beautiful because it's going to be Sunday. And uh, we're going to have communion uh, at our church tomorrow. I don't know how you plan to culminate everything, but uh, it's going to be a, a great day naturally and spiritually. And I'm just looking for God to do great things. Look for it. Expect it. Expect him to come through. All right? Okay. All right. So... Uh, today, I want to give you uh, three tips. There are places that you can go and eat um, if you're uh, on a fast or if you're trying to change to a more healthier or plant-based eating. Maybe after this Daniel fast, you feel good enough that you say, I'm, I don't want to go back to eating the way that I, I was. Maybe I want to um, do more. I want to uh, be healthier. Um, and maybe tomorrow you want to go out to dinner. There are a few places that you can go, some um, places that are um, that are cognizant of their people who have plant-based diets or who are vegan. Now, one will not be open tomorrow. That's a Chick-fil-A. They're not open on Sunday. But if you want to go there today as a, a special treat, one thing you can order there is their garden salad. They have a beautiful garden salad. It's very hearty. Just tell them to hold the cheese and, um, and get like a vinaigrette uh, dressing, an Italian dressing. And uh, that is good if you're going to uh, Chick-fil-A. Uh, you may have the kids with you and they're getting that chicken, you know, chicken nuggets and stuff. But go ahead and get that salad. Their, um, their french fries, those waffle fries are also uh, vegan friendly. Uh, just potatoes, they're fried, I believe that they're, everything's fried in a peanut oil there. And uh, just get your ketchup and, and enjoy the fries. Uh, also, uh, Chipotle. You can get a, a veggie bowl at Chipotle. Uh, you can get the, um, your, your lettuce, the rice, you can get brown or white rice. You can get uh, beer, black beans, I think pinto beans. You can get the corn salsa, the tomato salsa, guacamole. All that's there uh, at uh, at a Chipotle, okay? And then the other, if you want to go to a nice sit-down restaurant, go to Olive Garden. Olive Garden has a menu, and on the menu there, uh, they have little symbols. Uh, I think it's like a V if it's a vegetarian. Uh, last Sunday, we went out uh, to dinner, and I got the... Um, the continuous, uh, it's like the endless salad and soup, and they have a, um, a veg vegetable soup uh, that's made with the beans and, and onion and, and all the good stuff. It's considered uh, vegetarian. And then it's um, uh, the salad. You can have all the salad you want. You can hold the cheese, uh, but honey, that cheese is part of, of the goodness. <laughs> and of course, you can't really do the breadsticks if you're doing uh, the Daniel fast. But, you know, after the Daniel fast, if you want to go and still have plant-based, you know, get your breadsticks, get the, uh, your, even your Parmesan cheese. I believe it's okay. You just ask them if it's uh, plant-based. Um, and sometimes, you know what I do? I, I put my little packs in my purse and I take it right on with me. And if I want to use my own, because they do make a plant-based 
um, Parmesan cheese. They do make it, okay? Put it on. And I do have a YouTube where I do the uh, Olive Garden salad right at home. Girl, you can get your own banana peppers, your own black olives, your, uh, your lettuce, um, your tomatoes, your uh, Parmesan cheese, and your um, uh, actually Olive Garden salad dressing. They sell it in the store and the croutons. Honey, it is magnificent. Have all you want right at home, okay? <laughs> but those are uh, three restaurants uh, that I've noticed and that I have used uh, to help through uh, this time. Now, also, if you are vegan or if you want something that is uh, plant-based, Google your local, just speaking to your phone, um, the closest vegan restaurants, and you'll get a whole list of places. You will be surprised how many places come up that you can enjoy um, a vegan or a plant-based uh, menu. You you really be surprised. Okay, okay so um, I think I'm going to end this video today. I may do another vo bonus video later on today um, just because. And um, you all have a very blessed day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video with uh, your family and friends and some of your girlfriends and, and guy friends even. Okay? <laughs> I love to have you as part of Mama D's um, YouTube family. All right. Listen, have a blessed day. And I love you guys. Bye-bye.